to get a job, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. All these hats and shoes go with really cool jobs. People do different things. It's true. And God loves each one of them, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. I'm Luis the Handyman. I just finished cleaning these fun bunny slippers for my sister. <laughs> She's having the whole family over for a pancake breakfast tomorrow. And we're all wearing our favorite slippers. <laughs> Everyone is coming. My mama, my aunt, my cousin, my nephew, my abuelo. That's my grandpa. I mean everyone. <laughs> hey. That reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins in a town with lots of people. There were kids playing together, people shopping and friends talking. But look, do you see the man in the middle? That's Matthew. Let's watch and see if anyone is being his friend. Hmm. Do you see anyone? Neither do I. You know, there are lots of people around, but no one is talking to him. That's because Matthew made bad choices that made people very mad, and nobody wanted to be his friend. His job was to collect money from people, but he took more money than he was supposed to. One day, Jesus came to town. Jesus is God's son. He is super special and amazing. He could have talked to anyone in town. But guess who he talked to? Can you guess? <laughs> yes, he talked to Matthew. Jesus went right up to Matthew and said, follow me. Jesus loved Matthew no matter what and wanted to be his friend. Later, Jesus went to have dinner at Matthew's house. 
Guess who else wanted to have dinner with Jesus? Everyone! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of people who want to spend time with Jesus. Do you want to help serve them food? <laughs> Let's see, we need everyone to get a plate. Let's count how many people we can serve food to. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, great job! We served everyone who came to eat with Jesus at Matthew's house. Some people were confused when they saw Jesus eating at Matthew's house. They asked, why would Jesus want to be friends with someone who makes bad choices? Because Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. He wants to be friends with me and you and you and you. Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is a friend to everyone, no matter what they do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Matthew made some bad choices, but Jesus still wanted Matthew to follow him and be his friend. Jesus wants everyone to be his friend. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! No matter what shoes or hats you wear, Jesus wants to be your friend. I have so many hats and shoes. I'm going to find a friend to try them on with me. See you next time!